A 15-minute office visit could confirm a Parkinson's diagnosis. WDRB Stefan Johnson explains why it will likely cause a doctor to get under your skin. For years, Parkinson's was difficult to detect, but now behind me there's a new test being conducted here at the Norton Neuroscience Institute that's detecting the disease and changing lives. They've made so many advances just since I've been diagnosed. Several years ago, Steve Walsh was diagnosed with an incurable disease. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's in the fall of 2014. At the time, Walsh knew very little about Parkinson's. I was like just about everybody else in the United States. I was aware of Michael J. Fox and Muhammad Ali. But a recent medical breakthrough is helping patients get answers a lot sooner. For decades, we've diagnosed Parkinson's disease purely based on our exam findings. Dr. Justin T. Phillips is the medical director of movement disorder at Norton Neuroscience Institute and says a simple skin test can now detect Parkinson's and other movement disorders. We do a small punch biopsy of the skin and uh, put a Band-Aid on it and they go home that same day, usually 10 or 15 minutes to do the whole procedure. Although it's not a cure, Dr. Phillips says it is progress in a disease that has always been difficult to diagnose. But it can help us confirm that we're treating the, the right thing um, and it can help with prognosis. Parkinson's, for the most part, sneaks up on you gradually. It took several months for Steve Walsh to get answers back in 2014. Had to have several different appointments with, first with my primary care, then a neurologist had to start seeing me for the first time. Walsh believes the new skin test will help put future Parkinson's patients on the path to treatment a lot sooner. It removes the uncertainty. It uh, allows you to proactively take steps to manage your Parkinson's. And doctors also feel confident there will soon be new medicines on the market that will treat and stop the progression of Parkinson's disease. With photojournalist Dave White, I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB News.